Well, hello there, folks, and welcome to another episode with us, John and Becky, and today we're in Kent. We have got some incredible things coming up on today's episode that we really want to share with you, such as... A trip to the world-famous Great Barrier Reef. A cable car ride through the world's oldest living rainforest, along with one of the most scenic railway journeys. And a walk around the Esplanade, the night market, and where to find some of the cheapest places to eat and drink. So stay tuned, you don't want to miss it. So you know you're in Cairns when you see this sign right here. We're just having a walk down the Esplanade now. First glance, very pretty. We've got the sea here, although be careful of the crocs. Some really nice picnic areas for families. So if you don't want to sit in a restaurant, you can have a nice picnic overlooking the sea. We've got some sort of what looks like children's play area here. There's some kind of swimming pool there as well. So it seems there are a lot of things to do for free at Cairns as well, as well as it seeming such a big family friendly place to visit. Everywhere is catered for children as well and for free. So you can save your money and entertain the children. So as well as us showing you what there is to do in Cairns, we'll also be telling you how much things are. So you've got a rough guide, like we always do, of how much a beer costs, how much a meal will set you back to help you with budgeting next time you come. One of the best things about Queensland is the abundance of wildlife. I got so excited about what we saw next. Aussies may not get excited about this, but us Brits are super excited that we have just seen a pelican sat there. If you fancy riding the big wheel, it will cost you $10 per person or $8 per child. Another fabulous thing about Cairns is, although can't swim in the sea, it's not recommended, they have actually built this pool right on the front and it's fantastic. Most importantly, again, it is free. The lagoon at the Esplanade is open every day between 6am and 9pm, except Wednesdays where it opens from 12 midday. There are toilets and changing facilities on site, along with storage lockers which are chargeable depending on the number of hours you require them. If you don't want to swim, there's also grassed areas that surround the lagoon to relax on. So this is pretty cool, something that we don't get in the UK. Barbecues in the park, now they're open between 6am and 9pm daily. Uh, they're very clean as well, and you just fire it up until the beep's heard. I'm not going to turn it on, but it automatically turns off after 20 minutes as well. So, great stuff. Another great feature about Cairns a bit thirsty because of the heat so we are going to Gilligan's which have a happy hour on between 12 and 5 which do schooners of lager which is about 420 mil uh, for six dollars fifty so we'll check it out it's like a resort in itself is this place have a look Gilligan's is probably the most popular hostel in Cairns and it's a favorite choice for backpackers and those wanting to socialize with a wide selection of drinks and offers along with ample spaces to party and unwind you can understand why it's so appealing Another popular option is Mad Monkey Hostel. Food and drink prices here are very reasonable in comparison to most restaurants in Cairns. Every day between 4 and 7 it's happy hour. Between 4 and 5 all basic pizzas are 50% off making most around $8.50. And between 5 and 7 you can get $8 jugs and $4 spirits and schooners. If hostels aren't your thing then check out the pier bar. This upmarket bar by the marina doesn't have to come with a hefty price tag. Every day between 5 and 7 is happy hour, where you can get schooners from $6, spirits from $6.50 and wine from $7. We couldn't come to Australia without seeing the Great Barrier Reef and Coranda Rainforest. So although not on a budget, we are desperate to do these tours. So we've just been to the tour office to try and get some prices and a bit of a rough idea because there's that many tours to do of the Great Barrier Reef. Picking one is becoming very difficult. So this one was the easy one really out of the, the two trips that we want to do. And by booking direct, we've managed to save an extra $10 per person as well by going through Skyrail instead of actually going through, you know, one of the many tour companies that are on every street in Cairns. So I think that's, that's kind of a good deal really. Every penny counts. So we're here at the Rota shop. Now you can smell this place before you even see it. The smell is incredible. And we've gone for a beef roti with uh, beef roti and you get uh, a choice of three fillings with that as well for 14 flies. <laughs> 14, for 14, 50 flies. For 14.50. So it's that good even the flies want to eat here as well. 
um, and we asked for it hot as well because we like it spicy so we do a, their own scotch bonnet chilli so let's give it a go oh no mm. wow that is good very very juicy I've got it down my t-shirt again messy eater but wow that is going to be something that's really filling I think I've got it all around my mouth as well I'm not bothered so yeah $14.50 uh, a really really good substantial lunch there Today we are heading to Coranda. And it's one of the things that you must do when you're in Cairns. It is quite close by as well. You get the Sky Rail there, which is a cable car, or the train, and then vice versa on the way back. We were picked up from our hotel and taken to the Sky Rail, which took around 15 minutes. We boarded the Sky Rail at Smithfield Terminal and took in the breathtaking views of the rainforest and the Coral Sea before arriving at our first stop, Red Peak. We walked the boardwalk circuit, which took around 15 minutes and stopped to take in the views at the lookout point. We hopped back in the cable car, got attacked by a beetle and stopped at our second stop, Baron Falls. We jumped in the cable car for our final journey, crossed the Baron River and arrived at Coranda Village. We had around three hours to explore Coranda. There were a variety of shops selling everything from clothes to handmade crafts and of course souvenirs. For lunch we visited the German Tucker restaurant which was surprisingly reasonably priced. Two bratwurst and a coke and a large beer came to $27.50. After lunch, we booked tickets to the Koala Gardens. Although we would have preferred to see them in the wild, it was still a cool experience. We then checked out a plane wreck and had a walk around the Coranda Rainforest Markets. Our time in Coranda flew by and it was time for us to board the train and enjoy the Coranda Scenic Railway. The journey had 15 main points of interest and took around two hours to get back to Cairns. The views were spectacular and it was such an amazing experience. If you want to know more about our Coranda trip, our next vlog will be all about our experience and include more detail about what you can expect if you decide to book this tour. We are all packed up and ready to move on. This time, we're not actually leaving Cairns, we're just moving to a different hotel that's close to the centre. We stayed three nights at Hotel Tropic. It's been a really comfortable stay, it's got a lovely pool area, but unfortunately, when we're carrying shopping and things, it's just not very practical. We're moving about 20 minutes down the road to where it's all happening, to a place called Global Backpackers, which is right on the beachfront. So we will see you when we get there. Right, so here we are in our new Queen Superior room at Global Backpackers. With the balcony. So this place is a hostel, but it doesn't look like a hostel. It's had six million spent on it, refurbing it, and it was a hostel before, but they've ploughed that much money into it now, and you can see the difference. The room that we've got is definitely value for money. It's right in the centre, literally seconds from the Esplanade. You couldn't be any more central, and it is so clean. So another added bonus of staying at Global Backpackers is that when you show your lanyard, you can get discount at two restaurants. PJ O'Brien's offer a $10 meal deal plus a drink and Rattle and Hum offer a 20% discount. But be sure to show your lanyard before you order food. So they even have a gym here with a bit of equipment to use, it's enough. As you all know, I'm a bit of a, a gym freak, so I'll be spending three hours a day pumping iron in the gym some of the time. On the fourth floor, this is where you'll find your kitchen facilities. And there's even a chill out lounge where you can watch TV. Okay guys, so after a day of chilling and doing some editing, we are ready to hit the night markets. Luckily for us, by staying at Global Backpackers, the night market is next door but one to where we're staying. So let's go have a look around and see what they have on offer. So just before you get into the night market, there is a little food court available with places like a Thai donut shop, there's Chinese and there's even a bar. The most important thing to remember is when you come in, they do things in three sizes. So you get the small, you put your medium, then you put your large.
So we had a fantastic night at the night markets last night and today we are doing one of my ultimate bucket list things and we are visiting the Great Barrier Reef. That's right, we're doing this VIP style because it's my birthday and we are going with Reef Experience on a somewhat all-inclusive cruise all day to the uh, Great Barrier Reef. It's going to be a good one. Where we get filmed, we normally do the filming. There also. we go, big smiles for me. Awesome, thank you. There you go, guys. Thank you. Bye. Let's walk on board. Thank you. Woo. This, I've got a new camera, guys. Yeah, personal. Do you need a job? <laughs> hey, guys. Yeah, you guys. Oh, we don't need any of that. No, we're all mine. Three. Let's get upstairs. Um, uh, say hi. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, straight upstairs here. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Inside the wheelhouse. Oh, Let me get the door. Oh, look at that. Okay, special treatment. Automatically. Thank you. There you go. And you guys can oh. begin. Amazing. As part of the Top Deck experience, we had our own booth in the wheelhouse and were assigned our own personal staff member, Epi, who was fantastic. We enjoyed a fresh fruit platter whilst completing some mandatory medical forms. Epi brought us some complimentary tea and served us an a la carte breakfast, which was absolutely delicious. Standard ticket or transfer passengers received bacon and egg sandwiches instead. After a short safety demonstration, we set sail to the Great Barrier Reef. Shortly after setting sail, we received a presentation from a marine biologist informing us of what we might see. Included in all tickets was an introductory scuba dive. Epi Saturn gave us a personal demonstration on how to use the kit and information about the skills. So we are now in our wetsuit gear and we are ready for our introductory scuba dive. I'm extremely nervous because it's my first dive that I've ever done. Second for John, so he's got a little bit more experience, so I'm not really sure what to expect, but I'm sure that we're going to have so much fun. So on this particular boat, all your gear is included as well, which some others you have to have yeah, yeah, an extra pot, which is another good reason to book the reef experience. It's reeftrip.com what you need, so I've got our flippers. This was my second attempt at a scuba dive, and sadly, it still wasn't for me, but Becky had a good go at it. Sadly, after 15 minutes of trying, it wasn't for me either, as I couldn't get over the fear of drowning. However, I was proud of myself for actually trying. Okay, so we've just come back on the boat now from our scuba dive. I got further than John, so I didn't actually could dive right down. But I did get off the boat, which was an achievement. I did see about 10 fish and a bit of the coral reef as well. So even though I didn't dive right down, that is still a win for me. So I bottled it, unfortunately. I couldn't do with the regulator in my mouth. But and, you did do a bit of snorkeling. And I did a bit of snorkeling, but the current was absolutely ridiculous. There were yeah, people getting bad. swept away. Uh, so much so to the point, uh, the, some of the crew have never seen this, but we're actually having to get everybody back in again and uh, move to another location where it's safer. Yeah, some people actually drifted to the next boat and had to be rescued by a little boat to bring them back. Yeah. But we are moving to a new location yeah. now and hopefully that's going to be a bit better for some snorkeling. It was lunchtime on board and we were offered a choice of steak or chicken. Standard tickets received a buffet downstairs. After lunch, it was time for one last chance at snorkeling and this is how it went. Once we got back on the boat, we received a complimentary bottle of Prosecco along with a fruit and cheese plate for the journey back to Cairns. Have you seen this? <laughs> Let's do it! Yeah. Hey. Hey. Perfect! Thank you. Well that's us back in port now at the end of a fantastic day and many thanks to you know, Reef Experience 
it's, it really has been incredible. We've not had to worry about anything at all. Yep. Epi, if you're watching this, you've been absolutely fantastic and it was worth every single penny. Sadly, that's all we've got time for on this episode. However, please do consider subscribing so you don't miss a future episode and you can support us on our journey. As always, thank you so much for watching.